And therefore, I urge you, at this moment of national emergency, to stay at home, protect our NHS, and save lives. Instead, we're going to come to you. Um, myself and a few other players are going to be putting some videos on YouTube. So if you get over to the Dewsbury Rams YouTube page, you can subscribe, share, like, comment. You can that really help the club out. Um, today, we're just going to go through some exercises. We've got um, six main exercises after the warm up. Just get you moving so you're just not sat at home doing not a lot. All we need today is a rugby ball and a bit of space and uh, good attitude. Uh, to start off, we're going to do a quick warm up so we can get rid of the rugby ball. And we're just going to start with some squats. So, nice and low from the side. You might be a little bit stiff, so just ease into that movement. Try and get a little bit lower every time. We're just going to work 20 seconds working on that. Nice controls, just get used to the movement. Hips nice and low. Try to keep your chest up as you're going down. Nice work. Just got 10 more seconds on that. So working your legs, getting your legs woken up a little bit for this. And your next exercise, we've got hand walkout. So your hand walkout, so you're just going to work a bit of core, upper body, getting yourself warmed up. So you're going to get yourself to the floor, walk yourself out to a press up position, walk it back, stand it up. So I'm going to go for 20 seconds again on that one. Nice work. Ten more seconds. Key thing with these warm up is just always moving all the way through them. And our next exercise, we're going to do some Spider Man. So Spider Man crawls, not crawling. We're just going to bring your foot up to your hand. So you're going to be in a press up position, getting your hips loosened off. Foot up, drop your hips down, and back to that press up position. Swap legs. There we go. Bringing it in, loosen yourself off. We've got two more each side to do. 
Try and get that hand as close, that foot as close to your hand as you can. One more each side. Nice. Walk yourself back up. And then your last bit of this exercise is warm up. We're going to add them three exercises together. So what we'll do, we'll work for a minute on this one. So you're going to do a squat. You're going to walk yourself out. Spider-Man each side. Walk yourself back. Back into your squat. So you're going to work for a minute for your warm up. And then we're ready to get into the main session. So we'll start with your squat. Three, two, one. Let's go squat down and walk out into your Spider-Man. On each side. Nice to draw one back. There's not a rush here. We're just getting you moving. Got your squat. Into your walkout. Like I say, don't rush it. Just make sure we're moving all the time. Just warming up, just loosening off. Back up, you got your squat. And walk out, we're halfway there. Spider Man. Walking it back up. That's what. Back into your squat and walk it. Spider Man, nice work. Walking it back. We've got one more to do, We've got enough time. And walk out. Get Spider Man in. And walk it back up. Nice work. Right. You need to get your ball back. So uh, we're going into the main session now. So what we're going to do, we're going to work for 30 seconds, 30 second rest. We're going to go three times on each exercise. So the first exercise, just going to put the ball down. First exercise, we've got pogo jump. So a pogo jump is just little hops like a kangaroo. You're going to do five of them, down, jump over the ball. Turn around, one, two, three, four, five, down, jump over the ball. So we'll have a bit of a practice, we'll go for 20, 30 seconds, bit of a practice, so just practicing it. So when you're doing your little pogos, just a little movement, down, so we'll do one more, there and back, and then we'll get into the main spit, down, up, so it's five pogos, into your jump, so it's one, two, three, four, five, down, jump. So have a little bit of a rest, and then we're going to go for 30 seconds, 30 second rest, 30 seconds again. So try and get on your pogo jumps, try to bounce, bounce, bounce off the floor as quick as you can. When you're jumping over the ball, make sure you're jumping over, don't trip up. So we've got five seconds until we go. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, down, jump. Turn around, one, two, three, four, five, down, jump. Nice work. One, two, three, four, down, jump. One, two, three, four, five, down. Let's go, we've got five seconds, we'll get one more in. One, two, three, four, five, down, and jump. Nice work, 30 second rest. So it doesn't matter on your jump squat, it doesn't matter about getting down quick, getting up quick. Control that down to there, explode from there. So we've got 10 seconds until we go again. Short go, go, uh, ground contact time on your pogos, explode up on your jump squat. Three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, down, explode, good work. And we go one, two, three, four, five, down, explode, nice work. One, two, three, four, five, down. 
Explore over. Nice work. Ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Down. Jump on. Nice work. We'll get one more in. One, two, three, four, five. Down. Jump up. Nice work. Now rest. So we've got another exercise now. This one's called a Cossack squat or a side lunge. If you're holding the ball this time, ball in two hands. Nice wide stance. And you're going to lean one way. As you're going down, the ball goes out. Bringing it back into your chest. And there we go. Out. So we'll have a 20 second practice just to get you practicing. So going down, you're keeping that leg straight. Ball's going out. Back in. It's okay if you can only get to there. If you're doing that from the side, stick your hips back as you're going down. So we're there, hips are going back, coming back up. Nice work. So we've got 10 seconds until we go into it. We've got two sets of 30 seconds. Going in five. Nice wide stance. Ball's going out. Two, one, and let's go. Nice work. Don't rush it. Quality over quantity on this one. Nice and controlled movements. Just trying to work again. Your hips back, nice and low. Good work. Ten more seconds. Nice. Almost there. So in three, two, oh, relax in there. Nice work. Thirty second rest. So last round, I'm going to just practice your grip a little bit. So as you're going down, same leg that you're bending with, that ball's going out, bringing it back into your chest, swap hands, ball's going out, bringing it back in, we're going to go in 10. So you get your nice wide stance, swapping on your chest, one-handed grip, we're going to go in three, two, one, and nice and low, nice control again, don't rush. Nice work. Working on that single hand grip strength. Just getting you used to it. Back to two hands, out to one. Nice work. We've got 10 more seconds. Well done. Last five. Working back out, good work. And relax it there, nice work. We have got another exercise now. So our third one, we're gonna do a lunge, a forward lunge. We're going to pass the ball through your legs. So you're there, you're stepping forward, ball's coming through, back there. And then you swap legs, ball's coming back through, back to the top. So we'll have a bit of a practice, we'll have a 20 second practice. So ball into hands up there, stepping down, one hand coming through, working on that single hand grip again, back up. Don't rush it, swap legs, coming through. If you rush it, you're going to end up fumbling the ball. So do one more each leg now, then down, back up, last one, down, back up. So two rounds of 30 to do. We're going to go in 10 seconds. Going in five, stand nice and tall, three, two, one, and down. Down, and then you swap. Don't try starting the swap before you get down. So you're down, swap. Don't rush it, good work. Working your lower body, working your hand-eye coordination with this one. Nice work. Almost there. Make sure you're alternating legs every time. We've got five more seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. You've got 30 seconds rest. If you're feeling brave, you can try a little pass through your legs so you're not passing it. So you're going through, look through, back up. If you're feeling brave, go for that. If not, just stick to passing hands out. So we've got five seconds. Three, two, one. And let's go. Down, pass it through, back to the top. Alternate legs, down, pass it through. Back to the top, good work. So we're down, pass it through, just working that single hand work. Nice, alternate legs, down. 
Keep it going. We've got 10 more seconds. Down. Pass it through. Back up. Last five. Down. It through. Back up. Two. Finish it off. One. One. Back to the top. Right, next up we've got uh, play the ball escapes. So this is a bit more rugby specific. So what we're going to do, you're down, knees, one hand there, ball in your hand. You're going to bring that elbow back. As you're bringing that elbow back, you're going to bring opposite leg through. So like you would, if you're on the, on the floor, someone's on top of you trying to get out for a quick play of the ball, you're going to come through. And then in a game of rugby league, you go from there, you come through, get them off, you play the ball. We're not going to do the play the ball, we're just going to do the come through on this one. So a little bit of a practice. So the exercise will be, you're there, come back, there, back to that position, there's nice controlled, there, going back, keeping that palm down as you're doing it, there, come through, well done. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to do 30 seconds on each side. We'll start in five seconds. So we're going to just start this side, 30 seconds, 30 second rest, go the other side. Get yourself ready. We're going to go in two, one, and let's go. So we push you through, back there. If you want, you can make it a little bit harder. Leg comes out straight. Nice control back in. So you're there, legs out straight, bringing it back in. Nice control, so it's a sharp movement, like you would in a game. Back there, we'll work 10 more seconds. Push out. Nice control back in, last one, out, bringing it back in. 30 second rest, gonna go for the opposite side. This one's very rugby, rugby specific, so when you're, you've been tackled, you've found your front. If you can, you're trying to get your palm down so you can get out quick as you can. 10 seconds and we're going. Opposite side, so opposite legs coming through. Going in five, three, two, one. So it's out, legs out there. Nice work, nice controlled. Out, legs out. Nice work, nice controlled. Pushing through, nice sharp movement. Control it back. Well done. Nice sharp movement. Control it back. Good work. Ten more seconds. Just get three more in at least. Control it back, two, last one, push it through, there we go, bit of a rest. Next one, we've got sit ups with a throw, go through this one, you're going to be down, sit up, throw, catching the ball there, are we catching it? Try to get that overhead to handy catch here. Don't catch it in here. It's just going to work on that little bit of skill there. So we're going to go for 30 seconds, but 15 to go until we go. So I'm a bit of a practice. Clear up, catch, back down. Up, catch, back down. So it's nice controlled. We're going to go in three, two, one. Let's go. Up, catch, back down. Work on that. Two-handed overhead catch, up, there we go, try to get it straight up, two-handed catch, nice work, keep it going, up, catch, keep working, we've got 10 seconds, two-handed catch over your head, back down, nice work, five more seconds, and a bit of a rest, eight second rest, it's good work. So we've got this last 30 seconds, and then we're going to do a little bit of a competition on the last exercise. So we're going to tally up your score, count how many you do on that last round of 30, and if you can, put it in the comment section afterwards, see how you did. Right, we're going to go five seconds in this last one. So it's sit ups into a throw. Ready? Three, two, one, up. Trying to catch above your head, control it down, up. Catch it, nice work. Up, catch, there we go. Twerk on that skill as well. Nice work. Up, twerk and catch with your head. Well done. Keep pushing up. Nice. 
Go. 10 seconds. Keep going. Five. Last one. Up. Try to catch. And relax it there. So this last exercise, like I said, we're going to do a bit of a competition. So we're going to count your reps. So we'll have two practice rounds. We'll have a practice. We'll have a 30 second go. Last round of 30. That's going to be your practice round. So what you're going to be doing is a press up with a ball twist. So you're going to work on a single hand grip as well as working on your press up. So you'll do a press up. Keeping that ball in that hand, you're going to twist towards the ceiling, bringing it down, putting the ball there. Swap to opposite hand, press up, twist up to the ceiling, down, swapping it there, press up, twist. So if you can, you start doing a bit of a practice now, just get used to that swapping of the ball on the floor, single hand grip coming up, moving through, down, nice controlled twist. So that's your practice. So we've got two rounds of 30. First one's a bit more of a practice round. Last one, we're gonna go as many as you can in that 30 seconds. And down below in the comment section, if you can just let us know how you did, you can have a little bit of a competition between yourselves. So our first round of 30, we're gonna go in 10. So this one's just getting used to the movement, getting that single hand grip. Going in five, three, two, one. You're down, just keeping the ball in that hand, twisting. Down, swapping hands on the floor, down, twisting, there we go, swapping hands, so this is your practice, don't rush, you're down, twisting, right down, all the way to the floor if you can, down, swap ball into a hand, you're down, twisting, nice strong grip on that ball, so working, single hand grip, and there, nice work, 30 second rest, on this one, you also work in good shoulder strength and mobility. So when you've got, when you're twisting, there, this shoulder's working overload. You, you twist and you push. So it's really gonna help shoulder health, shoulder strength for when you play it. We've got 10 seconds, last 30 seconds. Go as quick as you can. A little bit of competition. We're gonna go in three, two, one, and let's go, see so you down, twist, good work, swap hands, down, twist, nice, keeping that good, strong grip on the ball, down, twist, all the way, down, twist, nice, strong grip on the ball, that's what's going to get you here, down, concentrate on that whilst you're getting fatigued, good work, almost there, 10 seconds, down, twist, keep it working, Last one if we can. And relax there. Nice work. Well done. So I've done some good work there. Um, if you can on that last round of 30, write down how many you got in that last 30. It's gone in your comment section. Again, like I said, uh, this, ramp, this part of the Rampage Club that uh, the club are doing. Uh, if you can, get to the YouTube page. Subscribe. Like the videos. Comment on your scores that you're getting. And then... Share it on your Facebook if you can. It's really good for the club. Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks for watching. Well done. Good work. And therefore, I urge you, at this moment of national emergency, to stay at home, protect our NHS, and save lives.